Yo, what is going on, everybody? Rob J back in the house. Happy Wednesday to you. And today, I'm actually going to just share some stuff I picked up earlier. Did a little bit of a beer haul. Really did not want to buy any more beer here in 2020, but things happen. Things happen. You end up finding yourself out near the beer store, and you're like, well, let's just go in and see what they got. And you end up sometimes even surprising yourself. So they're picking up a few more beers and uh, going to share that with you guys. Cheers, Flacco. What is going on, my friend? Good to see you, brother. How is the Cold War going? And how's work been going? I know they've been working like crazy as well. So I'm going to actually try to play some Cold War later this evening after we do the sports show over on the Eclectic Beers channel at 9 o'clock. If you're going to be around, let me know. Um, I think we're connected on Cold War as well as the War Zone, but if not, give me a shout. But I think we are. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it went out earlier today. I was going to do a video at the time, and it was just way too many people there. It's kind of like I didn't feel like walking around the store, talking to the camera inside and doing all that kind of stuff and having people in their curiosity peak. So I decided to just get what I got, bring it home, share with you guys some of the stuff I picked up. So I put a clip out earlier on the community tab, which actually showed a few of the things there. Those were really just kind of the deals they had going on. Blake's in the house. Cheers, Blake. Good to see you as well, my friend. And I haven't done Cold War yet. Honestly, getting tired of the COD series, but might get it later. Oh, I didn't know you didn't get that. Okay. Yeah, I kind of dig it with the Cold War because I can kick over to Warzone back and forth. You can actually bring the guns in from Cold War to Warzone, which is pretty cool. So it kind of does all right. I'm kind of digging it. Cheers to Christina. Hey, what is going on? How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. Merry Christmas to you as well. Just kind of kicking it here for a bit tonight. Tonight's actually a little bit of a, a double live stream for me. I'm doing this one here. And then at 9 o'clock over the Eclectic Beers channel, we'll be talking about sports and the bowl picks that we actually made. So, you know, should be a fun night overall. I had it on my PS4 to move to PC. Well, that's the Eclectic. He has it on the PC, the PS4, and the Xbox. So <laughs> he bought the game three times. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, I feel like on the PlayStation, it actually uh, has had the least issues. I know the PC has had issues. I know the Xbox has had issues. But PS4 has been pretty solid all the way through. Uh, let me see here. Made LT look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, you had Georgia as well, I believe. So I think we're still tied. I think me, you, and Stodgy are the only three that haven't missed a game yet. So. Not a bad start thus far. You might be able to hold on to that little champion title. We'll see what happens. And if you guys don't know Blake, make sure you pick up Blake. They actually did the B&A show yesterday as well. Had a special edition last night. What's going on, Jimmy? Jimmy over at Cuff and Stuff Barbecue. What is happening? Merry Christmas, my friend. And uh, Jimmy makes some good stuff over there on the Cuff and Stuff Barbecue channel. Happy to see you. Cheers, Cuff. And then uh, PC feels so much better. <laughs> Free. <laughs> I just know there's been more bugs, it seems, on some of the updates, at least talking to Eclectic, that seemed to happen on the PC version. So, But let's get into some of the beers here. And so this was actually one of the ones I picked up. I actually ended up getting a six-pack just because it was a deal. So if you saw the community tab earlier, it had this um, – Four ninety nine for the six pack, so really couldn't pass it up. So that is actually a raw J deal. So you know when it's there, you got to grab it. And uh, the Dogfish Head Campfire Amplified. So that one looked pretty decent enough. It is six point five percent ABV, basically a campfire type stout. So we'll look forward to seeing how this one actually does taste. And it was just brewed just over. I think on the bottle I saw when it was there, it was like just over a month, month and a half ago. So still in pretty good shape. Milk stout brewed with graham crackers, cinnamon, marshmallows with cocoa powder, and vanilla beans added. So sounds pretty decent enough. So that was there from Dogfish Head. And then the other one that I picked up as I start here with the, uh, the kind of the deals. This is the one from Jackie O's. And it's their Cool Beans Coffee Blonde Ale with Lactose. And this one 
it has the gold on there as well was uh 499 for the six pack so another one that was kind of a crazy deal uh four and a half percent so a little bit lighter but jackie o's if you know them they make some really good beers uh limited release made with locally roasted coffee so looking forward to uh checking that out as well we get one of these off of here and you can kind of see the can there as well with the goat the pot of gold on top of the goat cool artwork as well on this can too so i always dig the different artwork they do for some of these uh these beer cans so those were like two of the uh the deal situations i actually got there uh let me see here who else we got in the house here I see Blake said, hey, to Moose, but I didn't see Moose pop in. So, Moose, hey, what is going on? And back to Blake. Steel, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely was. It's, it's, it's yelling at you when you come in. Four ninety nine for the six-pack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can looks tight. Yeah, I agree. It's a really nice artwork. And we got uh, Rich. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Good to see you. Merry Christmas to you. It's definitely been a while. Richard yelling over from uh, Facebook there. Great to see you as well. Just, you know, trying to get through 2020. Next year, we can finally turn the page. So I don't think anybody's going to really be missing this year. Um, so here we got another box as well. And in here, I ended up picking up, which I'm not sure where I'm going to actually put these at. But I picked up a few more glassware, which I didn't realize I already had this one. So this was kind of a duplicate, but it was the Old Nation glass. And this one was $1.99. So not realizing I already had it. I said, well, that's a good deal for an Old Nation glass. So now I got two of them. So who knows? I might use that one a little bit more instead of just having it basically on the shelf. And then I picked up one that, funny thing is, I never had. This is the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale glass, which is a nice little snifter. Being in Kentucky, I never picked up one of their glasses before. So this was, I think, $1.99 or $2.99. So I went ahead and grabbed that one there, too. I'm all about the glassware, as some of you guys know. And then I picked up one more glass for the collection. Because I always enjoy these beers when I'm out. And so for my buddies over in the U.K., you see Old Speckle Hang Glass. And uh, $1.99 on this one as well. So something to put there on the shelf. And Old Speckle Hen, a nice little beer from the UK. So that was the glassware I picked up. And then get into some of the other beers. Uh, let me see here. Well, thank you, brother. Back me, of course, with you as well. Uh, next year, quarter one will be the same. Hopefully, we can we can see a change soon. Well, don't say it's, they'll be the same. <laughs> we want some, somewhat of a change to start day one. <laughs> and there's Moose. <laughs> Merry Christmas to Blake from our weird friend. So this was one I actually saw that was kind of interesting. And this is from Whole Hog Beer Company is their Hazy Nut Brownie Imperial Chocolate Hazelnut Porter. So this was kind of an interesting one that I saw there. This one comes in with an ABV of 9.2%. And I'm a fan of hazelnut, especially like the brown ales. So I figured why not give this one a shot. But uh Looking forward to seeing how this one actually tastes. Never heard of Whole Hog previously, so that'll be a new brewery for me to actually check out. Uh, they do put in here, it contains lactose, and Whole Hog is out of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, the cheese state, right? So that is one there. And then I wanted to get a little bit of a little bit uh, European type touch. So I picked up some European beers. This is one of them. This is from Polliner. It is their Salvatore. Double Bach. So I always love a good Bach, and Salvatore always seems to represent. So that's what I picked up there as well. This one comes in with an ABV of 7.9%. And on the back side, it gives you a little bit of the story behind it as well. But, uh, you know, Polliner, you, never a bad beer to really give a shot to. And there you go, there on the front again as well. See what I got here. Then, <laughs> so these were just there, and I was like, I've never done a seltzer on the channel. So you guys may have seen this as well on the picture earlier. I said, you know what? If I'm going to do a seltzer, 
let's go for a big seltzer. <laughs> Four loco, hard seltzer. I don't know why. I mean, outside of the, I've never done it, and I felt like let's just have a little fun. Twelve percent ABV, two for a dollar. So what do I lose? Fifty cents a can because I did get two. This one is the black cherry. This one is the sour mango. So two for a dollar. Figure what the hell. We'll go ahead and crack these open. And for those of you that have been asking about me doing a seltzer, F it. We'll go with these as the seltzers to see. They're not going to be probably as good as the other ones, the White Claw and all of them, but go big or go home, right? So we're going to give that a, a shot there at some point here as well. <laughs> no <Nope>, loco. <laughs> Figure why not? Why not go for it? You know, what's the worst that could happen, right? Whoops, let me see here. I think my camera, oh, there it goes. My camera froze for a second. Uh, it's like coffee and alcohol together. Yeah. <laughs> CB's in the house. It's cheers, Roger and Blake. Good to see you, CB. Merry Christmas, my friend. Uh, cheers as well. And had the sour mango rough. Just my, <laughs> I bet it is. I'm not doubting that. It's just, I figure, why not? Those would be basically for shits and giggles, right? Just to have those. Uh, let's see what else did I get here. And so this is the one I did pick up, which was kind of interesting. And this is from Erie Brewing Company. It is their old red cease and desist. Uh, we Heavy Ale comes in with an ABV of 10.1%. Erie Brewing Company always does some pretty good beer. So I was happy to see their stuff there. You can kind of check out that label as well. Had not seen this one before, so I wanted to go ahead and give this one a shot. So looking forward to trying that there. And then... For my Canadian, my Canadian brethren, because they've talked about this one before, and I've never had it. I saw it there as an individual. I said, why not go and pick it up? It's the Molson Triple X. So this is the Molson Triple X, and I'm finally going to actually do at some point here, 7.3% ABV. Haven't had a Molson in a while, so kind of looking forward to that. But I know some of the guys actually uh, – drink these up there in Canada. We rarely see them where we're at here, so you got to get it where you can get it. So I went ahead and grabbed that there. So that'll be ones to take a look at. We also got uh, Lep in the house. What is going on, Lep? Cheers, my friend. Let me slide this here. Okay, I got one more box to take a look at here and stuff. Well, he says, cheers to Lep. Molson is awesome. Yeah, I mean, Molson's good. Molson's fine for me. I've, I've, I just haven't had Molson in a while, so I've had the Triple X, which is like one of their higher ABV versions, I believe. Uh, I've had the Sour Diesel before. But <laughs> uh, I remember Little Kings. Are still, yeah, actually, uh, Little Kings, we actually get here. Uh, Moreline Beer Company or Moreline Brewing. They actually are the ones that brought back Little Kings, and they're more lines out of Cincinnati. So we can get those pretty much any time we went to, which I've had those. I want to say I had some the last time was about four or five months ago because we get like an eight-pack of the Little Kings. Um, always a nice little cream ale to kick back and enjoy. So, yeah, you can always get those here in Cincinnati without a problem. And I was kind of glad they brought it back just from a nostalgia effect. Uh, then we had a uh, said, Lep, what's up? Uh, I see you, Lep. What's up, CB? And CB rules, and Lep is looking. So, yeah, so those are that. And then the other ones I got here. So I've always wanted to get this uh, brand out of Japan, and I finally went ahead and decided to pick it up. Um, this is actually from Hisachino, and it's their Nest Beer. It is actually a beer that was matured in sake cast. So this is one of them here which is the XH that I'm looking forward to checking out. Uh, this one actually comes in with an ABV of, I can find it again on here. I saw it earlier, 8% ABV. Um, always heard good things about this brewery. And then there was another one that I got from them. If I can find it here as well. Where is it here? Here it is. 
And it is the espresso stout that they actually make. And this one comes in with a 7% ABV, but that's kind of a cool one there too. So a little bit of a coffee stout action. If you ever get a chance to check them out, from what I've heard, they are very good. So looking forward to seeing how these pans out. So this will be my first time trying these ones. But a little Japan in the house. And then uh, the other one I got here. This was one. <laughs> somehow, somehow now it reminds me kind of, of Lep. But I saw this one there. And just the face of it made me laugh. 15% ABV. It is the crazy brewski. So I feel like if Lep ever hooked up with Drewski Brewski, this is what we may get as the result. So <laughs> this is one that's also from overseas. It's an Imperial Pilsner that comes in at the 15% ABV. So what do you think, Lep, a love child from you and Drewski maybe? I mean, we had uh, – Eclectic and Blake make QT, so maybe this is your your uh, offspring as well. So, <laughs> so looking forward to checking that one out. But that was just a crazy looking beer that caught my attention, and then there was another one they had too, which was the before and after premium lager, and this is twelve percent ABV. I think this may be from a different company, but kind of a weird looking uh, face there. And but who hasn't had the before and after before? You know. There's always like a before and after story everybody has out there. So I went ahead and grabbed this one here as well. Let's see what else we got here. Ended up picking up one of the ones from Trogues. Uh, Trogues always does some nice beer. And this is their Le Grave. It's a triple golden ale. Comes in at 8% ABV. This is uh, one of the 12.7 ounce bottles. So this is one I like. And this will be something kind of similar to the Belgian style beers, I like to enjoy as well. Um, so, looking forward to giving that one a taste here. This was like one of like maybe three or four they actually had left, so I had to grab that at the time because I knew that wouldn't be there again. This is one from uh, one of my local breweries here, Wooden Cask, and I got another one of their beers I'll be uh, sharing. It is the Backsetter Imperial Stout. So, looking forward to actually. Checking this one out, and a shout out to my buddy Randy that runs that brewery. This one doesn't have, I think, the ABV on the label, but I know it's going to be a double digit one, so I have to just look it up. And when I do the review, share with you guys then. Um, but they do some pretty neat beers uh, here in the Kentucky area. So if you ever get around Cincinnati and Kentucky, uh, nice one to pick up from their brewery, Wooden Cask. Let's see here. Check some of these comments over here. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, look, we got Erie in the house. It's been a while, Erie. Where you been at? <laughs> Hopefully things are well when you guys are all set for Christmas, my friend. Blake says, Erie, what up, Blake? Your Christmas only. I think Lep was laughing of the uh, the idea of him and Drew Drewski having an offspring there. <laughs> Oh, my God. The bottle is Lep on smack. Yeah. <laughs> I just think of that now. Like, Lep and Drewski got together. I'm not sure I like that guy. He was very rude to me the other day. <laughs> oh, Drewski was probably just drunk. If you call him, he will come. and may not be in the way we want. Yeah, that could happen. That could happen. Oh, shit happens. Let's see here. A little here. Uh, Gilk going to show up now. He probably will. He probably will. Hey, what's going on, Thrash? Cheers. Merry Christmas, my friend. Good to see you, brother. Go there. Cheers, Thrash. And get down here. Hey, Thrash, everybody. Salutations. Uh, yeah, I know Blake, but he doesn't even know me. That was my first time to his channel. Not a great impression. First impression, you know. Yeah, sometimes Drewski doesn't hit people with the best impressions when they first meet him and stuff. But, again, depending on when you met him, what level he was on from drinking, that could be a factor in it as well. Not making excuses for him, just saying that's how it can be, Odrewski. I've not made the best first impressions either. <laughs> what, Blake? You're always perfect, right? You look champion. <laughs> I'm not trying to get. I'm trying to get back to normal or somewhat normal again this time. Yeah, and hopefully you're hopefully you're all over what you had and you're feeling all better too. By the way, Erie, uh, Drewski is Drewski. That is true, and nobody else can be Drewski. 
<laughs> that what? <laughs> so Moose is trying to catch up there. All right. So, all right. Let's see here. Every time I've seen him, he's been slap ass strong. It doesn't take him long to get to that level. So, yeah, that does happen. Uh, is it a surprise? Moose feeling better. Awesome. Uh, I used to call Rod J. Rod 2020. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I would call many a thing. It's just not late for dinner. Uh, thank you for – oh, you're welcome. Always thinking about you there. And uh, so this is one I picked up as well because um, I've been meaning to get this for a bit of time. Again, sticking with some of the stuff from overseas. This is from Germany. It is the Oxycarna Rausch beer. And I've had one of their other beers, which was freaking amazing. And I'm hoping this one does too because I love a nice smoked beer. So this is, like I said, from Germany and will be a nice one to actually uh, – check out this one comes in with the abv put that on the back here 5.2 percent so not too heavy but with this one it's more about the taste and design of the beer um if you ever get a chance to try like a rouse beer get a smoked beer you know for the people that like to grill and all kind of stuff you get kind of that grill sense of the beer when you're actually enjoying it it makes a nice play so really looking forward to enjoying this one let's see what i got here so this is one that I picked up for one of our local breweries when they just did uh, Mad Tree and their Tree Search India Pale Ale. Kind of an interesting can. If you uh, remember taking the old ge geography classes and the old topography maps, it's kind of got that design on the beer itself that you have there, which is kind of neat and interesting for the artwork. It kind of caught my eye there. This is one of their newer type releases. This was the number four in the series. And uh, looking on the can itself, it says journey through flavorful combinations of hop cheese, malt, and what are discovered that expects thing. This series is limited release IPA found exclusively at independent bottle shops and restaurants. So it's an IPA that he did some different things with. Um, they actually used a honey malt in here, which is interesting. Um, two row uh, brewers, uh, Caterpills. They also use Stratus, Simcoe, and Chinook as the hop. So nice little uh, difference. They always make some different things out there. Um, Mad Tree, I've got a video on the channel where I actually went out there and I've know a couple of people and met with their marketing person and Literally, we were meeting in like their science lab. Like people don't realize, like some of these breweries have a science lab essentially as part of where they do their research. There, it's really cool. Um, if you ever get a chance to do a brewery tour and you're into beer, definitely recommend it. Uh, let's see here. Let me go back here. Let where do I see it? Uh, well, thank you, Blake. Smash that like. Uh, on my channel, editing it right now. So you go to Lep's channel, you can see that their moves. Uh, I like the artwork. Yeah, the artwork is pretty cool. A lot of these have been all pretty cool, actually. Uh, area I paid $15 for a half pint of crown for my mom. When I told her she told me not to tell anyone in the church. <laughs> Don't give away mom's secrets. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, I need me some of that. I actually got some whiskey here. Maybe I'll crack some whiskey open later on during a football show or so. Um, Vanessa's in the house. Hello, Vanessa. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, so cheers, Vanessa. Merry Christmas from Blake there. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to everyone there. She's never going to take you back to church so you don't rattle. Yeah, or tattle, rather. Yeah, so that might be your get-out-of-church card now. You never know. Let's see. What is this? So this is another one I got. I happen to glaze over and see this one. Coffee. Uh, stout from Country Boy Brewing. They're down in Lexington area. They do some uh, pretty neat beers. And this was just one I happened to notice. It was only two nineteen for it, so I figured I'd give it a shot. 8.5% ABV. I was trying to find some good ABV beers I could hold back on not having to try. Um, was, you get a rule of thumb is usually around 8%. You can actually go lower than that, but you know, with all the beers I got here, it takes a while before I can actually get to them. But uh, this one's one I found to be intriguing. It's going to like a lot of coffee stouts now. So if you're a coffee lover and you're a stout lover, they definitely go together. Let's see here. And then this was another one, speaking of coffee, that I got from Mount Carmel. And I've actually had this a couple times, one at a beer fest and one at their 
brewery, but never had done this one. So this is the Coffee Brown Brown Ale. So I'll be doing a review on this one. This is really a nice one from the Snapshot series. For the guys that actually watch around the Ohio area where you get Mount Carmel, definitely one to pick up that they're bottling this now. Definitely worth giving it a shot. This is really good if you're a big fan of brown ale and, of course, the uh, coffee feel. So a nice one there from them. And then this is another one that I picked up from one of our local breweries. It is from Sonder Brewing, another great up-and-coming brewer out of Mason. The You Betcha is actually a hoppy, hazy, passion fruit, New England IPA from Sonder Brewing over at Mason. So looking forward to trying this. Haven't done one of their beers in a bit. They always have some nice ones to check out. It's just we have so many breweries that are around here. It's hard to actually get them all in. So went ahead and decided to grab this. This was like $2.99 a can, so not too bad there at all. And then... The last one I got here was one from Weyerbacher. I'm sorry, uh, why Weybacher? No, Weyerbacher, yeah. So this was the Merry Monks. Like I said, I'm big into Belgian ale, so anything that has a Belgian monk on it, I'm pretty much in. So I decided to grab this one here so I can do a review on this. And this one, 9.3 ABV Belgian style triple, or tripel, if you prefer. And uh, looking forward to checking it out. Weyerbacher always does some decent beers too. They are actually out of Pennsylvania. So those were the beers and stuff I picked up again. I really don't didn't need any of these things, but since I was out there, decided to swing by and check it out. Picked up a few deals, picked up a few more things to throw into the beer cellar and a few more things to share with you guys going forward. Um, let me get back to the comments here. Well, thank you, Vanessa. Great show last night, Rob. <laughs> Are you trying to do with me because Blake was calling me the wrong name? Or was that just a typo? <laughs> um, I got vodka, but I'm exhausted. I got home maybe 45 minutes ago. We had company dinner today, so maybe tomorrow or Friday. What a nice night uh, over. I mean, unless you got to work in the morning. If you got to work in the morning, I guess you can't really drink too much tonight. But if you don't have to work tomorrow, you have time. You can have a drink and a little Call of Duty. That'll help you relax. Uh, yes, ma'am, Vanessa Grecia. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. It was a, it was a fun time with uh, Gloria. We'll def she'll definitely be back on again, and we've already started talking about some other things going forward. So we'll be all connected there. So definitely keep you guys in the loop. Have you ever heard of Purple Moose Brewery? If you don't, I say that brewery is out of country. Uh, I have not heard of Purple Purple Moose, so it might be out of out of the uh, the country here. Do they make anything in particular that you've heard about? Uh, Erie tried and water with ice, 15 to 20, vodka, mostly water. There you go. Your bartender now is Blake TV. Um, I'm a for sure coffee. Yeah, I know you dig the coffee for sure. You should have Alan get you some more of the coffee beers out there. Uh, let me see. Vodka water. I'm thinking some straight vodka. That's how you do it. Straight vodka. Don't 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 water it down like some people. <laughs> Maybe coffee vodka. Oh, now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. Hey, we got two blondes drink beer. What is going on? Merry Christmas Eve Eve. What is happening? Good to see you. Welcome to the channel. If you guys don't know two blondes drink beer, definitely want to check them out. I've actually uh, connected with them here on YouTube and checked out a couple of their videos. They have some fun drinking beers. I need to catch up on their videos, but. Awesome channel. Another one to check out here in the beer community as well. And uh, good to see you again. And hopefully you're all set for a nice Christmas this week. And hopefully by next week, a nice end of 2020 as we move forward. Uh, now go back to work on the 4th. Well, you could, well, you could drink vodka tonight. If you're not working to the 4th, you're in good shape. Uh, Blake says cheers. And a Merry Christmas. The new update has me not wanted to play anymore. It lags so bad. We were just talking about earlier some of the lag that people have had, like on either it's mostly been on the PC or the Microsoft uh, Xbox or whatever. Um, hasn't really have happened on the PlayStation. So they have a thing. Maybe with PlayStation, we get a little bit more of a deal with them or something because I know like the zombies 
they get that for the whole year. And there's other stuff that we get for PlayStation releases before it comes out. I know. So maybe, uh, maybe they're kind of just not giving a fair shake to the computer and the uh, Microsoft lovers. If I dare, I might get close to drunk. It is diff- it isn't difficult with all my meds. I want. Yeah, <laughs> you do got to be careful. You do got to be careful. <laughs> Uh, we got vape tricks from Prairie Brewery. I've not uh, heard of that one, but Prairie makes some really good beers. I actually saw some of their stuff out there today, but um, didn't get anything. I actually have a couple Prairies in the cellar right now um, that are some of their bigger styles. But I can't remember the name of them offhand. I think oh, I think Paradise. I think it's Paradise from uh, Prairie or the two that I have down there right now. Did you ever check out the? I haven't. Hey, what's going on, Steven? Cheers, my friend. I have not. Got a chance to go to the root cellar as of yet. It is now, though, on my list. I keep a list on Google Maps, and it really comes in handy. You can save places. So I have a list of beer stores around Cincinnati, and root cellar is listed. I just haven't been over in that part of town to actually go there as of yet. But that's going to be one of the newer places for me to actually get to, to kind of break some ground in and see what they got there, too. Um that's actually up in the uh, what we call the Kenwood area, and I'm actually on the Northern Kentucky uh, side, so it's a little bit more of a, a travel for me to get up there to go do that. I say that is probably like 30, 40 minutes, but I can go to Jungle Gyms, which has a lot more, a little bit closer, but I am going to get up there because that's right down the street from Trader Joe's as well, which I like to pop into from time to time. And then Vanessa, hello to the two blondes. Most likely we'll play after the older girls go home. The oldest has been playing my account. Oh, okay. Hopefully she's helping helping you out. <laughs> Not taking you down. <laughs> and then two bars a load of Vanessa. Uh, oops, it's difficult to get drunk due to oh, you're saying it's tough to get drunk due to meds. I think before, yeah, you were saying, yeah, you gotta be careful there for sure. Hey, what's going on? My homeboy Vince back in Jersey. What is happening? Happy holidays, bro. We say you too, brother. And uh, I will be back up here at some point in the spring. So I'll definitely connect with you and then we'll get together and we'll uh, go to hit Spellbound as well and uh, have a good time. And it'll be good to, to see you again when I'm back up there. So I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, making products through the new year. Very nice. You need to start getting them out there so you can start selling them, Vanessa. Definitely keep posting them on uh, Instagram. I'm exhausted. LOL, I've been up all day. They're rushing all day to finish up work gifts. Still have to wrap the kids' gifts that are my mom's night, too. Yeah, well, that's all Christmas, right? It's all around the Christmas stuff. But I've seen a lot of drunk Christmas wrapping over the years, too. So I'm just saying, you can have a beverage while you gift wrap. <laughs> Two buns, drink beer. Congrats on 70, new fan. Well, there you go. Awesome. Way to connect there as well. And vodka theme tonight. We're drinking vodka mixed with seltzer. Should I use the four local seltzer with vodka? <laughs> that might be pushing. I might be pushing my lifespan if I did something like that. Although I actually don't have vodka now. So I thought about getting vodka earlier. They had um, you to like this one, Blake. They had like the it was like ten mini vo- ten mini bottles of vodka. I forgot what brand it was, but it was like three ninety nine. It was marked down for like seventeen ninety nine or whatever, but. You could have got you could have cleaned house with some of that stuff there. Cheers, everyone on Facebook. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Thanks, Blake. Uh, yes, subscribe to Bond. Nice, good connections, good people. That's what it's all about. Make sure you guys are checking everybody out. And if you don't have, if you're on Instagram, definitely recommend checking out Vanessa as well, Vanessa M. Kitty. Um, if you don't have Blake, check out Blake here too. Blake has a fun channel for sure. And uh, I don't know, Blake, are you doing a Friday night throwdown this week? I don't know what to be at Christmas Day, um, which if you're not, I totally understand. But I didn't know if you were planning to or not. Uh, drink water and 100 proof vodka. Breakfast of champions. It's what makes the boys grow, right? Well, let's see here. Oh, she's not helping. I don't how many people hate me now because she's worse than me, but has no, no one muted. <laughs> are they cursing at her or anything? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Taking photos of products next year. Uh, Moonshine and eggnog. Yeah, that could work. That could work. Uh, see, this is a really long drive, man. Whenever you make it up there, I'm sure you'll... Oh, I'm, I'm sure as well from what, everything I've seen about it. Um, 
it looks to be really solid. We have another place downtown Cincinnati called the Standard, which is actually a pretty cool shop that's kind of new as well. And then we have a couple other spots that are down around there. Um, one of them is uh, Higher Gravity. But we have so many different beer spots around here. I mentioned this on the video I did about Cincinnati being number one. Um, even some of our gas stations are places you go to that have like craft beer um, outlets and stuff. They get all the good craft beer and you get good deals there. And you can find all kinds of things. I mean, it's just so much beer around Cincinnati. Oh, what a clean house on that vodka bro. Got to learn to ride. They, yeah, I should have took a picture of it for you. You probably would have fell out of your seat when you just saw it. But it looked to be, I mean, I don't think it was a bad vodka. It was like I said, it was like the 10 mini bottles. They were cellophane wrapped and it was like $3.99. They had it next to like these uh, miniature Chi Chi bottles where it was like two for five. Um, they had some tequila, I think that was on sale, and uh, they had the uh, the Canadian Canadian Club. They had like ten of those for like three ninety nine as well. The mini bottles. They had a, a bunch of different stuff. I mean, the holidays and people buying all kinds of things. They even had like wine that was usually like eighteen dollars. They were selling for three dollars a bottle in some of the spots. I mean. I'm not as huge a wine drinker, but I, I, I thought about getting a bottle of wine just because it was such a good deal on it. Uh, I love Breakfast of Champions. Nothing wrong with that tsunami, right? <laughs> a little vodka and water. Get you going. They get you up and going. Uh, oh, no. She is at them. Oh, she's yelling at them. Wow. <laughs> her mouth. Wait a minute. You said her mouth is like Alan's. I've heard you say more stuff than Alan has said, by the way. So <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not all just Alan. I think she's probably a mix of both of you there that you kind of both rubbed off on her. <laughs> Move over, Blake, and give me all the vodka. There you go. I mean, when was the last time I actually had vodka? I can't even think about when it was. It had to be like maybe over a year or so. Um, it's definitely been a while. That's funny. We guess they said that's a barbecue joint in KC. Well, yeah, right? <laughs> You're here for gas? No, I'm here for the barbecue. <laughs> we have a place down, down the road from where I'm at. Um, it's a, like a marathon gas station, but they actually have one of the uh, Charlie Biggs that works out of it, which is like a chicken place. So we see stuff like that, too. One of the Popeyes is out of a gas station here. Um, yeah, gas stations have all kinds of things happening. So who would have thought that, right? I even saw a dinner, uh, diner driving and dives one episode where people went to one of the gas stations because of the food they served there. So it was like a dive or whatever. But it's like you're eating in the middle of basically a gas station, which is kind of crazy. Hey, Erie, Merry Christmas from Moose. Moose cow. <laughs> Little soundboard. <laughs> oh, sure. I raised a kid since she was like five. Yeah. <laughs> She's picked up Trace from both of you, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know about the vodka lover, but John Taffer has a brand of hard seltzers and his cocktail mixer. Yeah, he has the hard seltzers now. Somebody else just came out with a hard seltzer as well, like another celebrity. I can't remember who it is offhand, but they're definitely getting more of these celebrities locked into it. And, and some of the spirits some of the celebrities are coming out with. Um, it's becoming a hot little market for some of those. Uh, let me see here. Why was this flex? And I mean, 360 don't know about you, vodka lovers, but John Taffer's brand of hard seltzers and a cocktail. Come on, you two. <laughs> oh, John Seltzer, I feel like it should be like if it's uh, John Taffer's seltzer line, it should be called like Shut the F Down or something, you know, because he's always like yelling at the people. Uh, he would say barbecue. Say barbecue. Leprechaun shows up. He just pops right up out of thin air. If y'all, yeah, if y'all don't know Lep, make sure y'all check out Leprechaun too. He's always grilling stuff on the Blackstone, making different things for breakfast or lunch or for dinner. Great ideas, great food displays, great putting out of some great stuff in there. So make sure y'all check out Lep as well. Um, I thought the same, Blake. Right? <laughs> the Lep Merry Christmas, bro. So. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's it's, thir it's uh, Wednesday night. I'm gonna say it's Thursday night, but Thursday be Christmas Eve. It's Wednesday night, the day before Christmas, and uh, almost there to the end of the year. Hopefully, you guys are ready to wrap it up like I am. Hopefully, you guys are having a great time getting into the holiday moves or whatever. I don't know if you guys are watching like some of the Christmas movies. Like the Christmas movies are on like crazy right now. Uh, the different channels. I myself though. 
I'm a football fan, so I'm watching the bowl games right now. So bowl season is underway, which is a great thing. Um, even the games you don't really want to watch, but you just watch them anyway because it's bowl. Like right now, I'm watching Memphis against FAU. Not really two teams I would usually sit down to watch, but it's the only game on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get back to finish watching that. If you guys don't know, I don't know what channel. Uh, maybe Erie knows if, if Eclectic's there. Does he set up for tonight at 9 o'clock? I got to see what channel he actually has it on. Let me take a look here. Because at 9 o'clock, we'll be getting to the sports talk over on Eclectic Beers channel and talking about some of the bowl stuff and how we started out thus far in our bowl pool and where we're all standing and all how's all that going along. Let me take a look here. He just has two channels, and I think it's just the Eclectic Beard channel, but I want to make sure. Well, let me take a look. Computer just going slow. I don't know if he put it out there as of yet, so i got to see if he did. Again, I can put the link here. And of course, then I'm going to crack some stuff open here to actually grab a drink. There we go. So it'll be actually over on the Eclectic Beard channel. And I'll drop a link here. 9 p.m. Eastern. You can type, right? And so at 9 o'clock Eastern, went ahead and put that out there. If you guys are freed up and you want to have some fun and laughs, if you like sports, check us out. We'll be over on that channel. Um, even if you don't like sports, it's still an entertaining time. You should just come by anyway. We'll be drinking. We'll be talking. We'll be having fun. We'll go off the rails at some point like we always do. But that's where we'll be at here in about 52 minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this baby down so I can get this other stuff put away and get settled in and catch the rest of this game. But thanks for everybody that tuned in. Hopefully you guys all connected. Thanks to everybody here. Make sure, again, at Leprechaun TV, we have Blake TV. And no, they're not related. <laughs> Two Blondes Drink Beer, great channel to check out. We have Thrash Metal here, another great channel to check out as well. Uh, some great peeps. And uh, hopefully everybody's having a great pre-Christmas so far, and we'll look to catch up with you guys soon. Cheers, everybody, and talk to you later.